Okay, this is the quick tutorial of the Bose system. The product link is in the description and the animation spoofer plugin I use is also in the description. Okay, so once you purchase the product, you'll be sent a download file and when you open that, it'll bring you to a base plate. Base plate isn't going to look like this, you know, just be a base plate, obviously. Anyway, you're going to have this guy sitting here. He's under these folders, okay? You're just going to want to copy the businessman folder and then paste it into the workspace of your DR game. All right. Once that's done, in replicated storage on the base plate, you're going to see the Bose storage folder. This has all the functions of it. You don't need to do anything but copy and paste this. So copy and paste this from the base plate into the replicated storage of your DR. And make sure you know it's under this folder, right? So touch that and you're done. Then you're going to want to head down to the items. On the base plate, you're going to see bow and bow fire. It's a fire bow. Um, basically, you know, whenever it contacts something, mainly humans, not humans, you know, Robloxians, uh, you know, they'll catch on fire and burn. Um, you can change the settings of, uh, you know, how much damage it does by going to server. And you can change basically everything here. So this is damage. This is this goes for both bows, by the way. Server under the normal bow. You can change the <coughs> spread angles, you know, the distance. So you can really make these bows OP. Um, right. And for speed, for animation speed, right? See these point threes. You could, you could change them to point ones. Um, that would make it quicker when you re when you're reloading. Um, yeah, and for the animations, you're going to want to get the animation spoofer plugin below. And here it is, okay? If you don't know how this works, basically copy the ID of the bow and put it in here. And it'll get it, get the origin, and convert it. Convert it to your group and copy that ID. And then this right here up here, don't don't do anything to that. Just when you click off of it, it's gone. Okay. So then take that ID and I forgot which one it was. I think it was this and just paste it back in and you're good. So do that for all of them for each individual one and then it'll work. So I'm going to hop in and show you. Uh, also, <coughs> the, <coughs> the bow it only equips to your second slot. And this is because the quiver is automatically placed on your right side so you're gonna want to draw from your right side okay so here it is okay once you spawn into your inventory um, okay so you can see it says only equip slot 2 right um, you can unequip it I believe yeah you can drop it um, so here it is okay when you click 2 like just like activating it it's going to be on your right side. To to charge it, you're going to just press R. Boom. Then to ready it, click once. And then hold down to draw it. Then let go. And you can change right the speed, the distance in, um, in the server script. And... You see, see how I'm running, right? After I just shot. In order to reload, I have to click R. So that slows me down just a bit. So if if there's no weight in the game, and someone's chasing you, and you're right, you're shooting at them because bows can be OP sometimes, then you'll be slowed down just a bit, giving them a chance to uh, to kill you. But um, also, these do not work on NPCs or yourself. So if you're trying to test them in studio, you can't unless you are playing with um, with two two servers, right? So I suggest just getting a friend on for it, um, and then and then it'll work. Trust me. Uh, if it doesn't work, just leave a comment down below. And yeah, there's not much I can do except um, just literally follow everything I've told you. Um, anyway, that's about it. Also. There is actually one more thing. When you are adding the weapons to your new DR Tech game, you're going to want to make sure that under Weapon Functions, 
the big man function right here is the server function. You need to make sure the big man function, this right here, literally says big man function matches the other items in the in the DR. Okay, so weapon functions. Here it is, big man function. And for for other weapons, you know, like if I was adding in a sword and I was switching it from one DR to another DR, the server event w might be different. So you're gonna need to change the server event to whichever one your DR is running on. So these are the same, see? These are two different ones, they're the same. You're gonna to want to make sure that your new item that you brought in matches the server event and the server function. Anyway, that's that. And um, yeah, enjoy the product. Um, but also if you want to uh, change the communication you can go down here, go to head, right, and the refill prompt. You can change what's up here and um, yeah, actually, one sec, let me just test this. Ah, uh, wait, yeah, so there may need to, you may need to add fly fly one second you actually will need to add so when I shoot out right so it doesn't work see but it will work on actual people come over here yeah so anyway I'm going to put the GUI for him uh, with the base plate, but you're just going to need to copy and paste where the GUI is into, um, starter GUI. I cannot believe I forgot that. But, um, yeah, so you'll be able to come up here and, uh, refill your arrows in your quiver.